If you're looking to buy your first drone, do not buy the expensive drones from the big box stores. You know the $500 drone or $1,000 drone. You're wasting your money. Because buying your first drone means you're probably going to crash it, damage it, or even lose it. This is a 4K drone under $300. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna unbox this drone from a company called Ruko. This is the U11, and yes, it's a 4K drone. And yes, it's under $300. So in this video, we're gonna unbox the drone, and then we're gonna set it up, and we'll go over all the features and specifications of the drone, like flight time and the weight of the drone, and we'll also include some high resolution pictures. And we're gonna show you some 4K video footage but are there any limitations to this drone? Well, we're going to find out. So stick around to the end of this short video to get my full review. But now let's get started. And one more thing, if you like this kind of content, please hit subscribe. It's free. The U11 includes a user manual, the remote control. This remote control includes the return feature, the follow function, encircling flight, and speed mode switch. The U11 drone weighs in at 270 grams with the battery and it also includes the adjustable cell phone mounting bracket for the remote control. And this kit includes two batteries, and each battery provides 20 minutes of flight. This kit comes with three charging cables to be able to charge the remote control and both batteries at the same time. And the charge time is about two and a half hours. And lastly, this kit includes extra blades, screws, and a small screwdriver. And of course, you've seen the carrying case. Before you head out for your first flight, make sure to charge your remote control and both batteries fully. This will give you a total of 40 minutes of flight time. Next thing you want to do is download the Ruko app for your phone. Next, unfold all four legs of the drone. Then insert a battery into the drone, and then press the button on the battery for about three seconds. Your drone is now turned on. And then secure the remote control to the phone using the bracket. Using the Ruko app, connect to the U11 using Wi-Fi. And just a heads up, every time you connect to the drone, you must do a compass calibration. This means turning the drone left and right, vertically, and then left and right horizontally until you hear a beep. Then you're ready to fly. All right, here we go. And we're good to go, we can take off now. The first thing that I noticed about this drone, the controls are very responsive. So be careful when you first start flying it. I nearly hit that wall a couple of times. And a couple of key features this drone does not have one is obstacle avoidance, and two is stabilization. Here are some high resolution shots. Because there's no stabilization, it can be difficult to fly in the wind. And on this day, it was pretty windy. And because the U11 does not have stabilization, shooting video on this drone looks very shaky, especially in the wind. And the day I filmed, it was very windy. So check out this video and see how shaky it was. The video quality on the U11 is subpar at best. And if this drone has stabilization, I'm sure it will look way better. However, at a price point of 289, you get what you pay for. As far as my review goes for the U11 drone, I would say it's definitely a great beginner drone. This drone is very fast and very responsive. And this drone is also well built. On several occasions, I've landed this drone very hard on the ground and no issues. So if you're looking for your first drone and you're on a budget, the Ruko U11 is a solid drone. While the video quality is just not there, it does make up with this great handling and high quality pictures. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you end up crashing this drone or damaging it or losing it, it's not that big of a deal because the drone is less than $300. And we'll have a link in the description below to where you can buy this drone. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.